curious about family life in the 1960s? Step into the world of a classic TV series, My Three Sons. Join widower Steve Douglas as he faces the challenges of raising his three boys. Whether you stumbled upon it on a lazy Sunday or a cozy evening, many of us have warm memories of bonding over the Douglas family's adventures. As we explore My Three Sons, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. Funny anecdotes, surprising twists, and heartwarming moments are in store. Don't miss out. Now, take a moment to think. Has this show left an impact on your life? Maybe it sparked nostalgia or offered timeless lessons. Share your stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear how this classic has touched you. Here's a question to stir those memories. What's your most unforgettable experience tied to my three sons? Whether it's a laugh out loud moment or a scene that tugged at your heart, share it below. Let's celebrate the charm of this beloved series together. Stay tuned for more anecdotes, insights, and surprises from the world of my three sons. Your stories are the heart of this community. Let's keep the conversation going. My Three Sons provided good entertainment with its portrayal of an unconventional family dynamic. The show revolved around a household where the mother was absent and the father, Steve Douglas, often found himself occupied with his engineering job in the aerospace industry. This occupation was particularly relevant during the era when the space race captured the nation's attention, commencing nine years before the historic moon landing in 1969. The responsibility of maintaining the household fell to Bub initially and later to Uncle Charlie, creating a unique bachelor pad atmosphere. The show's theme music complemented this eccentric setting, resonating with the quirky nature of the family. The occasional inclusion of older music reflected the generational gap, echoing the common practice of children seeking their own musical preferences away from their parents. Set against the backdrop of the late 60s, the series follow with the lives of the Douglas family's three sons, Mike, Robbie, and Chip, and later introduced Ernie as Chip's little brother. Each week, one of the children faced a challenge, skillfully resolved by the end of the episode without resorting to dramatic or violent resolutions. In contrast to contemporary television, my three sons reflected an era when entertainment focused on escapism rather than reality. TV shows aim to depict idealized versions of family life, emphasizing mutual support and togetherness. The humor of the time, once perceived as exceptions, has evolved into a reflection on societal changes. The review contrasts this with the present, where what was once considered amusing has become a pervasive and perhaps concerning norm. Despite the evolving landscape of television, the reviewer expresses a preference for classic entertainment like My Three Sons over reality TV. The show is appreciated for delivering what television is meant to provide good entertainment. The final rating of 10 indicates a high level of satisfaction with the series, hearkening back to a time when television served as a source of enjoyment rather than a mirror of reality. June Haver, the real-life wife of Fred McMurray, played a pivotal role in the casting of Beverly Garland as Barbara in the series. Her recommendation led to Garland's inclusion in the show, bringing a unique dynamic to the cast. Remarkably, My Three Sons successfully navigated a network change, a rare feat in television. Transitioning from ABC to CBS at the start of the 1965-1966 season, the series continued for another seven seasons on its new home. This shift showcased the enduring popularity of the show and its ability to adapt to changing landscapes. A notable casting change occurred when Barry Livingston joined the series as Ernie. Initially, he replaced Sudsy Pfeiffer as Chip's best friend, despite an apparent age difference. However, as Ernie became a regular character, the show adjusted his age, establishing him as Chip's younger brother. This alteration added a new dimension to the family dynamic, showcasing the flexibility of the series in introducing fresh elements. These behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the show's evolution and resilience. The strategic network move and character adjustments demonstrate the creative decisions made to keep the series engaging and relevant. Tim Considine's departure from the show after the fifth season marked a shift in the dynamic of the Douglas family. Interestingly, although officially exiting in 1964-1965, his character, Mike, made a surprise return in the first episode of season six. The episode showcased a brief scene of Mike and Sally's wedding, effectively introducing Barry Livingston as the new addition to the family. While Mike and Sally were mentioned in subsequent episodes, particularly during Ernie's adoption storyline, they were never directly referred to by name again. 
Mike's identity, however, subtly resurfaced as the first of you in a later episode. A unique trivia about Chip, one of the Douglas sons, adds an interesting layer to the character. Originally born as Richard as a toddler, he pronounced his name as Chipper. The name stuck and evolved into the familiar Chip as he grew older. Notably, his dad affectionately referred to him as Chipper. The show's initial concept took an unexpected turn regarding its title. Initially considered as the Fred McMurray show, the lead actor, Fred McMurray, expressed his disapproval of the idea. Consequently, the show became known as My Three Sons, a decision that ultimately shaped its identity and legacy. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes provide a glimpse into the show's evolution, from casting adjustments to unexpected character developments. As My Three Sons continued to unfold, it navigated through various changes, showcasing its adaptability and enduring popularity on the television landscape. In interviews, Don Grady highlighted the dynamic between William Demarest and William Frawley, likening Demarest to a straightforward curmudgeon. Unlike the more jocular Frawley, Demarest was characterized as a grouchy personality. The palpable tension between the two actors, both known for their curmudgeonly personas, was evident during the transition period when Bub bid farewell and Uncle Charlie assumed housekeeping duties. Longtime showbiz rivals Demarest and Frawley's on-screen interactions mirrored their off-screen sentiments, adding a layer of intrigue to the series. During the initial seasons, the Douglas family home was situated in the fictional Bryant Park. Interestingly, this fictional setting had a real-world counterpart located at 838 Fifth Avenue in Los Angeles, California. The choice of a real residence added a touch of authenticity to the show's portrayal of family life, grounding it in a tangible location. While the town the Douglases lived in before their move to California was referred to as Bryan Park, the state in which it was situated remained unnamed. This deliberate omission left a subtle mystery surrounding the Douglases' origins, allowing viewers to focus more on the family dynamics rather than specific geographical details. These behind-the-scenes insights into the relationships among cast members and the real-world inspiration for the show's setting provide a glimpse into the complexities that contributed to the success of the series. As the narrative unfolded within the Douglas household, the off-screen dynamics and the choice of settings added layers to the overall viewing experience. William Frawley, a key part of the early seasons, enjoyed his role on the show and was hesitant to leave. When he was replaced by William Demarest, Frawley wasn't pleased, creating real-life tension on screen. Barry Livingston is the only surviving main cast member still active in the Screen Actors Guild as of 2018. His long career reflects the show's lasting influence on its cast. Fred McMurray, who played the widow with father Steve Douglas, committed to renewing his contract each year, contributing to the show's stability and success. June Haver, Fred McMurray's real-life wife, played a role in bringing Beverly Garland into the cast. This decision showcased the interconnected relationships that influenced the show's casting. The show transitioned from ABC to CBS at the beginning of the 1965-1966 season, showing its resilience and lasting popularity. My Three Sons adapted to the changing TV landscape, securing its place in viewers' hearts for seven more seasons. Casting changes like Barry Livingston's introduction as Ernie demonstrated the series' ability to incorporate new elements. The evolution of characters and the show's ability to stay interesting highlight the creative decisions that shaped its story. Tim Considine's departure in the fifth season was a turning point, changing dynamics within the Douglas family. Despite officially leaving, his character, Mike, made a surprise return in the sixth season, smoothly introducing Barry Livingston's character. The interactions between William Demarest and William Frawley, both known for their grumpy personas, added an interesting layer to the series. The palpable tension mirrored their real-life rivalry, contributing to the authenticity of on-screen relationships. Choosing a real-world location for the fictional Bryant Park residence added authenticity to the show's portrayal of family life. The deliberate omission of specific geographical details kept the focus on the intricacies of family dynamics. Insights into behind-the-scenes relationships and the real-world inspiration for the show's setting offer a nuanced understanding of the complexities contributing to My Three Sons' success. As the narrative unfolded within the Douglas household, off-screen dynamics and setting choices added layers to the overall viewing experience.